Indications for backed RBCs transfusions vary depending on the patient's conditions. In stable, non-bleeding and asymptomatic patients, the criteria for transfusions are different from those in patients who are actively bleeding, hemodynamically unstable or symptomatic. In the first group, transfusion is indicated when hemoglobin is below 7 gram per deciliter. Multiple clinical trials, including the relatively recent MIN trial, support this restrictive transfusion strategy even in a acute MI. While in patients with active bleeding and or hemodynamic instability, RBC transfusion should continue until bleeding is controlled and hemodynamic stability is achieved, regardless of the hemoglobin level. Please do not be misled by the initial hemoglobin level in patients with active bleeding. This value is often falsely elevated due to hemoconcentration and only reflects the level at the time of the blood draw. The truth